kind of a weird setup here today. Uh, actually, at my girlfriend's house or my fiance's house here. But I want to go over Safe Moon because I did one video on it so far, and there's some news on it. We have some expectations for today, and I know a lot of people were excited about it. Um, and I want to give some of the risks, some of the pros and cons to it right now because every investment is a risk reward. And right now, this may be the highest risk, highest reward crypto investment that you can make right now. So before we get started, if you guys don't mind hitting the thumbs up, I appreciate it. If you guys want to check out the link down below to our Patreon where I tell everyone what I buy and sell on a daily basis, you can definitely check that out. Also, there is a link down there to BlockFi in case you want interest rate on your cryptocurrency. You can check that out. That's where I hold almost all my money. I had over $250,000 in there at one point, I believe, um, between crypto and stablecoin, and they pay a bonus and that interest rate. So definitely check that out if you're interested in that. And then if you guys want, you can buy Dogecoin on Weeble now. So there's the link down below to Weeble too. So SafeMoon actually came down a good amount since its high. So you can see four zeros and then a one three. Now we're sitting around, well, you can see it here, five zeros and an eight eight. So it's come down about, what, 40% since yesterday. But you can see that the increase... Uh, you can see the increase in volume every single day here, which is really interesting. We had 24-hour volume of about 16 million at one point here on March 14th. And then the Wednesday, we had 16 and a half. Then we went up to about 42 million, 100, or no, sorry, 72 million. And now we have volume of 170 million. So is it going up from here? Well, we are seeing a nice little bump here. So over the last one day, we saw it fall and we're starting to see some consolidation and it's coming up a little bit. Now, there are more people that have heard about it than ever. And with that, there's more scrutiny than ever. You can see crypto YouTuber draws parallel between SafeMoon and BitConnect. BitConnect is one of the biggest scams of all time. And if you guys didn't see my video on SafeMoon before this, I'll put it up on the end screen. I think that's pretty important. I go through what SafeMoon is, how they make some of their money, how you can actually make money from, from owning the crypto for a certain amount of time. So I'll put it up on the end screen. You should definitely watch that. But this YouTuber is drawing a parallel between this and a really famous scam in crypto. And his name is Lark Davies. Now, I talked about some of my concerns for it yesterday. Something that I had forgotten about was the fact that I had messages on my YouTube channels about maybe two weeks ago or three weeks ago talk about Safe Moon and how it was going to the moon. And we get a lot of crypto scam emails or messages, I should say, where people say, like, you know, send me money to this WhatsApp or something like that or you know, my my great investment advisor, Dr. So-and-so, uh, he gave me great returns or something like that. But we had safe moon comments that seemed really intelligent where they were they were talking to me about something in my video, but then talking about safe moon. And it was odd because I thought, okay, maybe these are real people, but it was weird how many people there were and how early on safe moon was. So I was getting like all of a sudden out of nowhere, I got three or four in one video. So it got me thinking, okay, is this some kind of bot? Is it someone that's trying to gain more recognition for SafeMoon? And I talked about some of the risks yesterday, talking also about how they might be paying some influencers without having them give disclosures that they're being paid. Now, there are pros and cons to this where some people are saying too that, hey, they burned all their coin before they even launched their their coin. So there weren't any creators of the coin that held on to a majority of it. But I, I'm i not well enough versed in the crypto space to understand if that's just something that they're saying or if that's verifiable. So I'm a little bit cautious. Even if they did burn their coin, they could have put in like half a million dollars and bought a significant amount, like a good majority of the coin. And then they could be waiting to unload it because the coin market cap is really high right now. Now, of course, it does reward you for staying around longer. But if they start to see it fall off, 
they might take some profits. They might enjoy some of the boosts that they've gotten. Now, we have some big catalysts for them today. We have them supposed to tell us, or they're, they're supposed to tell us two different exchanges that they're going to be on here soon. So they're supposed to explain how they're going to be on uh, on two different exchanges. Right now they're on three, and I did a video on my second channel explaining how you can buy them now, but the three exchanges that they're on are not exchanges that I've heard of before. We are expecting them to uplist to a couple different exchanges. They said that on their Twitter here. Uh, also, they're, they're just pumping out a lot of content, so... Uh, I saw that it was trending or it was like on the verge of trending the other day. So it should be interesting. They are saying that real Safe Moon holders won't fall for the fake news and the shadow entities. If anyone wants to challenge what Safe Moon stands for, come on our live AMA. So they are trying to, I think, clear up some of the rumors right now. But it is interesting because it seems a little bit a little bit aggressive there with how they're phrasing that. Now, uh, they are up to 900 million holders now too, which is good for liquidity and just to decrease the risk a little bit. But we saw BitConnect, uh, you know, be a scam. We also saw some other cryptocurrencies that mysteriously lost $25 million due to hackers. hackers. So it will be interesting to see what comes out of this. They do give this this video too on how to hold this coin, so I'll play it here for you. It should be interesting just to see what comes out of this. I, I'm interested to see what they actually say in the AMA and what kind of questions get brought up because this is, again, like like we said yesterday, it's being searched for more than Dogecoin for the last three days. I'm guessing today too, especially because Dogecoin day was yesterday. So I'm guessing some, some more people will be searching for this today. So let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think it's a scam? Do you think it's actually go into a dollar or whatever some people are saying it's going to go to. If it went to a dollar, I think it would eclipse Bitcoin or be right up there. So I don't think that's very likely, but let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video. I'll put up the video on Safe Moon from yesterday on the end screen to get a little background.